Psalms 75, 6 says, For promotion cometh neither from the east, nor from the west, nor from the south, but God is the judge. He putteth down one and setteth up another. This is for you guys who got uh, laid off or who are on unemployment right now. Let me tell you something right now. Do not get discouraged. Do not break down. Just because you got laid off, it doesn't mean it's over. Do not stop the fight. There are millions of people who are in a financial bind right now. And who are suffering. And it's sad, man. It's sad. You turn on the news, it's just full of gloom. Doom and gloom. Every single day. So, I want to encourage you guys today. Let me tell you something on how to roll hard in life. Let me tell you what I learned about being persistent in life. First of all, since you got laid off, now it's time for you to make a move. This is your window. I know you may not believe it. I know a lot of you are probably like, man, how in the world can this be a blessing? See, you can take it either way. Me and my brother were talking a little while ago. We were talking about how each of us have choices to make. We have options to make every single day. You have the right to choose how your day is going to go. You have the right to choose. You have the option to choose how you want your life to go, how you want your life to be. Just because you got laid off, just because you're on unemployment, it doesn't mean that it's over for you. It's not over. It's not even close. All that means, it is time for you to move on to the next chapter. And yes, I know and I understand that it's very, very scary because you've been thrown into this predicament and now you got to figure out what are you going to do to bring home some income? For your family and yourself. Very tough decision. Now your back is up against the wall. Now they're throwing $600 at you. Some don't even get it though. They're throwing $600 at you. And you're supposed to live off that for months. What is that going to do? I know it's very discouraging. It's very hard to take in. But let me tell you this. Use this opportunity right now to grow. Right now, this is your window, okay? Take the window, take this opportunity that you have right now and start learning a whole new skill, okay? Do something that you've been wanting to do for a long time. It's time to change the script in your life. This is a whole new chapter for a lot of you. The question is, what are you gonna do with this time? Even those of you working, who don't like your job? What are you going to do with your time? That's the question here. The verse I just read. It's talking about where the promotion comes from. It's talking about who is the one who gives you the ability to move on to the next level, to the next chapter, to the next season. And the one who gives you that ability is God. God will put things in. You ask God for things, he'll put things in your life that will help lead you to where you need to be in life. Because some of you, you know for a fact you're not supposed to be where you're at. Because you know with the skills and the capabilities that you have, you know that you can do far more better things than what you're doing right now. So I want to tell you this. Make moves. Make them fast. Quit sitting on the sidelines. All right? You got laid off. You're on unemployment. You lost your job. No more sitting around. You can't sit around anymore. You don't have any time to...
to sit down and watch TV and do absolutely nothing for hours on end, day after day after day. Get away from that TV. Get off those video games. Stop smoking weed. Stop getting high. Stop getting drunk. Take this serious. Because within this little window that you have to make a move, if you don't do nothing about it, you go right back to the same predicament. But some of you, you're not going to be able to go back to your job. You're not. That job is over. That season is over. Whether you know it or not. Some of you know it. But if you're trying to be oblivious to it, that's on you. But I'm here to tell you, never stop making moves. Keep yourself encouraged, all right? Encourage yourself through Christ. Fast. Pray. Constantly. Talk to the Lord. Call on Him for counsel, for guidance. You hear me? Counsel and guidance. Ask Him, what should I do, Lord? What do I need to be? What do you want me to do, Lord? Not only is this window an opportunity for you to make big moves and change the whole structure of your life, but it's a time for you to draw closer to God. Yes, during this COVID-19, all this stuff going on, it's only going to get worse. But it doesn't mean that you have to drop and fold. You don't have to. It's time for you to step your game up and make bigger moves in life. You got to take risk and make big moves. Some of you guys know I used to flip cars. I flipped so many cars. I won a lot and I also lost some. You know what I'm saying? I lost hundreds of dollars flipping cars. That's all right though because I gained more than what I lost. And that's just the price of taking risk. I used to be a mechanic. I said, no, I don't want to do that no more. I became a mobile mechanic. So I was a mobile mechanic for years, working on my own. And a lot of the experience that you guys see on the videos, that's from the experiences that I went through. So I decided, no, nah, I don't want to be a mechanic no more. I saw another window of opportunity and I took it. So I decided to become a carpenter. I've been a carpenter since 1998. So now that chapter is coming to a close also because now I changed my mind. That's how I am. If I don't like something, I'm going to do something else. I've always been like that. I've always been on the move. And if there's something I want to learn, I go hunt it down. I go find the people who are involved with it, who are doing good, who are doing well in it. And then I emulate what they do. Not copy. I just take what they did. I just use their experience in order to compress time to give me experience. And then I take it and make moves with it. It's time for you to do the same thing. You know deep in your heart, you always wanted to make moves to try something else. Now may be that time for you. But it's up to you. Are you willing to take risk or are you too scared? If you're scared, it's not going to happen. Because if you do nothing and you sit still, guess what you get? You get absolutely nothing. It's just like that verse in the Bible that says faith without works is dead. That means you can have all the faith you want. You can be, all, you can be as optimistic and positive about anything you want. But if you're not doing anything, if you're not applying it, it's dead. It's dead in the water. Without faith, it is impossible to please God. That means that if you don't have confidence in God, you're not going to trust him. And if you don't trust him, you're not going to call on him. You're not going to you're not going to trust that he'll see you through. Without faith, it is impossible to please God. If you don't have faith in God, you don't have faith in yourself, it's even worse. For the past six months, I've been studying how to buy houses subject to. Yeah, I know most of you have never even heard of that. Because most of us have been programmed and conditioned to buy houses 
through conventional lending. This, what I'm studying here, is unconventional. These right here are all documents. Okay? All this, all this right here are all documents on how to buy houses through land trust, subject to, and how to lease optional. Why do I tell you that? Because this is my window. I'm a mechanic. I'm a carpenter. Okay? I don't want to do either one of those anymore. I changed the whole, I'm changing the whole game. I want to be a real estate investor. I was supposed to start a couple years back, but I got so caught up in what I was doing, I didn't give it any time. So, for the last six months, I've been studying this real estate investing game. And I'm about to jump in it. So, why do I bring that up? Because I want to encourage you guys to be a hunter of excellence, man. Be a hunter of information. Be a hunter of growth. Do things that help you to excel every day in Jesus Christ, through Jesus Christ. Do things that are going to help you not only excel, but give you the opportunity to glorify God in everything you do. The Bible says, as a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. So if you think that you can't do something, if you think that you are screwed because you lost your job, if you think that you need to rely on the government to keep you alive, to sustain your life, if you think that you cannot do anything and make a change in your life, that's exactly what's going to happen in your life. If you don't learn how to take advantage of every single season that comes to you, by the way, this is a whole new season for all of you. If you don't learn how to take advantage of that, and if you don't learn how to keep yourself driven, and if you don't learn how to get the drive, to keep you moving forward and if you don't learn how to pull that passion out that wakes you up at 2, 3, 4 in the morning and get you going because you're excited about life if you don't learn any of that if you do not learn how to plow through life you're going to live a mundane life you're going to live a mediocre life you're going to be upset with where you are in life God has given you the ability to make sound, strong decisions. Command the morning. That means start your day strong in Christ. Don't start weak. Build your plan. Hone in on what you want to do. Put it in the crosshairs. Okay? Put it in the scope. Make a determination that nothing... No, absolutely nothing is going to stop you. Get focused and then attack. Attack it. You got to be ready to smash on anything, any mountain, any resistance, any hurdles that get in your way every single day. And you got to have faith in God. This is Mark 11, 23. For verily I say unto you that whosoever shall say unto this mountain... Be thou removed and be thou cast into the sea and shall not doubt in his heart, but shall believe that those things which he saith shall come to pass, he shall have whatsoever he saith. Therefore, I say unto you, what things soever ye desire, whatever you desire in your heart, whatever your dreams are, your, your goals, your ambitions, when ye pray, believe that ye Receive them, and ye shall have them. Believe it. You got to wake up with a strong ambition, a strong desire to where nothing can move you. You got to be a mountain crusher. You got to be a giant killer. Just like David killed Goliath, you got to do the same thing in life. Any resistance, any obstacles, any hurdles, any negativity, any negative people, 
to get in your way, go right through them. All right? Don't let nobody stop you. Don't let anybody, don't let nothing destroy your ambition. Build up your desire and your passion for what you want to do. Refocus, get back on the front lines, and start going to battle. Do something about it every single day because if you don't do nothing, you get nothing. Faith without works is dead. Success is not something that just happens. It is a reality that is created by those strong enough to exert control over the environment. When the mountain gets in your way, blow right through it. Smash on it in Jesus' name. Don't ever give up. Don't ever think down on yourself. Don't ever let depression seep in and try to take you out because it's a life in the pit of hell. Enemy don't want you succeeding because he knows if you do, you'll bring more glory to the kingdom of God. Who cares what he don't want? You focus on what God wants for you. You don't let anybody, you don't let anything, you don't let any circumstance discourage you or rob your ability to be a mountain crusher and have 1,000% faith and confidence in God. This is your time to shine. This is your season. It's time for you to write a new chapter because this is your opportunity. Remember, you have to take it because if you ain't taking your spot, it's designed and built for you, somebody else is going to take it. Opportunities are never lost. Just go to the next person. Smash on it in Jesus' name.